crucified with Christ. I've been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to the New Covenant Apostolic Church of Holly, Michigan. The title of our lesson today is entitled, The Born Again Nature. When you begin reading the Bible, you soon discover that when Adam and Eve disobeyed God in the Garden of Eden, they ate the forbidden fruit. Sin entered into the world, and death by sin. Genesis chapter 2, verse 17, the scripture said this, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, Thou shalt surely die. And in the book of Romans, chapter 5 and verse 12, the Bible makes this statement. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Always remember, we are not sinners because we sin. We sin because we are sinners. It's our nature. We are born with it. Babies, children, boys, girls, moms and dads, grandparents, and so on. We all have this sinful nature until we die. We are by nature, the Bible said, the children of wrath. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 3. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. It is a fact today that because of sin, death is passed onto all humanity. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, and verse 4, the Bible makes this statement. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. And in the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 27, the scriptures make this statement. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. It was disobedience that brought death. It is through obedience that now we have access to life. Romans chapter 5 verse 19 and 6 verse 23, the Bible makes these statements. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus told the apostles to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark chapter 16 verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The gospel is the good news about the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We are not to just believe the gospel, but believe and obey the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 16, verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. We obey the gospel through repentance and water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and being filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 4. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly... There came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, like as a fire, 
and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. In John chapter 3, verse 3, 5, and 7, Jesus said that you must be born again. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The old nature is not born of God. It is born of fallen man. When Adam sinned, his seed became corrupt. When we are born again, we are born of incorruptible seed by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23 to verse 25 the Bible makes this statement. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. The new birth is incorruptible. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. When we are born again, we have been given a divine nature, the nature of God. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 4, the Bible makes this statement. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. This divine nature of God is the Holy Ghost. If you do not have the Holy Ghost, you do not have the divine nature of God. This new divine nature does not commit sin. It cannot sin because it is the nature of God. 1 John chapter 3 verse 9 the Bible makes this statement. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Even after we receive the Holy Ghost, which is the divine nature of God, we still have the old carnal nature living inside of our physical bodies. This old carnal nature will sin any time you let it sin. As a child of God, you must keep the old nature under control. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, the scripture said this, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, 
lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Do not yield to the desires of your flesh or the old carnal nature, because they will keep you under its control. Romans chapter 6, verse 13, 7, and verse 18, the Bible makes this statement. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. The power to live a righteous life cannot be found in the old nature. It can only be found in the new divine nature. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, the scripture makes this statement. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. When you are born again, you have two natures, the old nature and the new divine nature. You are walking according to one or the other. Now we must always examine our Christian walk in the light of the Word of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 5 through 8 and verse 14, the Bible makes this statement. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now we must surround ourselves with the people and influences that can help us grow spiritually instead of feeding our old carnal nature. Even the Apostle Paul realized this reality. While in the flesh, we will always have this battle. Romans chapter 7, verses 18 to 23 and verse 25, the Bible says this. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. But how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law, that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. In conclusion, it is the knowledge of God's Word that gives us divine strength and grace that pertains to life and godliness. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible makes this statement. According as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory 
and virtue. In 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 18, this is what the Bible says. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Always remember, growing produces change. Knowledge produces growth. In 1 John chapter 2 and verse 29, the Bible said this, If you know that He is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of Him. In 1 John chapter 5 and verse 18, notice what the scripture said. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. The more we learn to yield to this new divine nature, the weaker our old carnal nature will become. Always remember, as a born-again Christian, if you fail, if you commit sin, it is not the divine nature that's in you that has failed. It is the fleshly, carnal nature that has led you astray. When you get weak, you do weak things. In this born-again life, there is the prefix re. The prefix re means to do it again. As we journey through this physical life, the carnal nature may prevail at times. But God has graciously given us the opportunity to repent, to recommit, and to recover ourselves. If we do these re-things, God will respond with His re-things. He will renew us. He will regenerate us. He will refill us. And He will revive us because He has redeemed us. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and His word is not in us. In God's eyes, He is more interested in how many times we recover from sin than in how many times we fail. The Lord is right there every time to make us as white as snow again. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, this is what the scripture said. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. In the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 22 and 23, this is what the scripture said. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Remember, in the eyes of God, the sin that has been forgiven is the sin that has been forgotten. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25 Notice what the scripture said. I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for my own sake, and will not remember thy sins. In the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, this is what the Bible says. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. As long as we are in these physical bodies, we will always have something that we will have to continue to overcome. Revelation chapter 3 verse 21 
This is what the Bible said. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my Father in his throne. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 31, notice what the Bible said. I protest by your rejoicing which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord. I die daily. Once the blood of Jesus has been applied to our lives through the waters of baptism in the name of Jesus, we can continue to go to that fountain of cleansing for the forgiveness of sin, for renewal, and for regeneration. Now we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 8 verse 37, this is what the Bible said. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him that loved us. But thanks be to God who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57. But thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That concludes our lesson today with the title, The Born Again Nature. At the end of our lesson, you'll find a link to an alphabetized playlist of all of our Bible studies. Please take the time to use this resource. It is there to share with you. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you enjoy the content on our channel, make sure to subscribe by hitting the bell icon for notification when we upload new videos. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us at the New Covenant Apostolic Church at gmail.com or you can call us at 248-459-2130. Thank you and God bless you. I've been crucified with Christ. I've been crucified with Christ. I know.